Hopefully he can be that good again, but we know very well what you get with Oba and he was very keen to come back to Premier League and we're very happy that we could make it happen. He delivers normally everywhere where he played, he, deliver, he delivers goals, but more important he delivers also speed and work rate against the ball, so it's a, a, a big package that he can bring to our group and that's why we did it. Um, at the moment he cannot train, we first have to make sure that he, that he gets a mask, we need to provide him a mask to, to protect his jaw and then we can uh, start to try with a mask from next week. Obviously when he was at Arsenal it, it didn't end well and there were disciplinary problems there. Yeah. I think when you had him at Dortmund you had some issues too with timekeeping it yeah. was the Champions League game at Lisbon where he pulled him out and then he Once, scored four yeah. against Hamburg. So yeah. have you got to manage him carefully again? That was the only incident and it was not even about timekeeping. It was just about the rule that we set between the matches and he forgot about the rule and, and visit his hairdresser, I guess that was it. So nothing big. There was never a big issue. There, he has a bit problem with his, with his, uh, with his time. It's... Uh, um, but also never, never, he never misses a meeting or something like this, but the 60 minutes before uh, to arrive in training, it's sometimes a struggle with him. Sometimes it's 58 or 59 minutes before that he's in, but never major concern. Um, he has a good heart, he's a top character. This is how I knew him. And uh, I'm 100% I'm sure that he will fit into our, in our, into our dressing room. He was, uh, while he was my player, he was always positive. He was in every single training. He never missed a training. He was never injured. Hope, hopefully it will stay like this. He was always happy, uh, in a good state of mind. And that influences a group in a very positive way. This is how I remember Oba. This is how, how I uh, felt him when I met him here in London while he was playing for Arsenal when we met and this is what we expect from him. So how happy are you with Chelsea's summer transfer spend? It was so big that you broke the Premier League summer record. Oh really? Has <laughs> Todd Bowley spent wisely? Are you, are you, are you well, under I pressure? think we spent, I mean, can discuss endlessly if we overspent or it's too much money for the players but the players that we got are, are, are very, very good players and very good personalities, so everything was needed, desperately needed to rebuild the group and to inspire the group and uh, I think we did we did excellent, excellent signings. We can now, of course, it, it does not help if we talk about the price too much because we'll always find people and yeah, it's maybe hard to argue, say this is way too much money, okay. But this is how the market was for us, maybe we were not in perfect position to find always the, the right timing and the right price for, for what we did, but this was nobody's fault, it was given to the situation. But the players we got fit perfectly and, um, and it's, uh, I'm very happy to work with this group now.